In this video, we are going to see how to automatically remove null fields from a response from a web API. Let's see first an example. Let's go to the Solution Explorer. This is a newly created web API. And I want you to see that, as always, we have a weather forecast controller by default here, which returns an enumerable of weather forecast. Let me see that weather forecast class and as you can see, we have these four properties. I will create a new one. I'll call it summary2 and I will not assign any value to it. What I will do instead is to press Ctrl F5 to run my application and let's go to Swagger. Let's come here and let's see that if we execute, we're going to see that we have summary2 null. But what if I don't want to show in my JSON response these null values? Well, for that, we have two options. The first one is to make a global configuration. With a global configuration, we're going to configure the removal of null values at the application level. Let's see that first. Let's go to the Solution Explorer and let's go to the program class. And here we have builder services add controllers. And in here I can do the following. I can say dot add JSON options options and then I can say options dot JSON serializer options default ignore condition equal to this dot when writing null. Let me put this in a way that you can visualize everything. So as you can see here, what we're saying is that we want to, by default, ignore properties that are null. And that's it. With this, we're good to go. Let me press Ctrl F5 to run my application and let's come back here and let's try it out. And let's see that we have that we don't have summary two because it is null. Of course, if I assign a value to it, then it is not going to be null and therefore it is going to appear in the response of the web API. For example, if I come here to weather forecast controller and I say summary two equal to Felipe, just as an example, let me save. Let's come back here and let me execute this one more time. And now, as you can see, we have summary two. Now, maybe you don't want this. Maybe you don't want this configuration at the application level, maybe you just want it at the level of a specific action, at the level of a specific endpoint. Let's see that. Let me comment this out. Of course, I need to add this back. Builder services add controllers. And let me come here to weather forecast controller and let me remove my summary two. And you're going to see that we're back at square one where we have the null value present here in the response, as you can see here. But if I only want to ignore null in this endpoint that I have here, I can do the following. I can say bar result equal to, and then say here, let me change the return type first, action result of I enumerable of weather forecast, and then I can say return new JSON result. Then I will say result and then new JSON serializer options. And of course, as you can see here, if you are using system.test.json, then you have to use JSON serializer options. Otherwise, if you are using neurons of JSON, then you have to use JSON serializer settings. But in our case, we're using system.text.json and therefore we have to use JSON serializer options. Control dot to bring the corresponding namespace. And in here, I can pass that same configuration that we did in the program class. This one that we have here, default ignore condition equal to when writing null. So I can copy that. I can come back to the controller and paste that here. Let me remove this comment and that's it. Let me eliminate this space. And again, that's it. We're good to go. Let me press control F5 to run my application. And now let's go to Google Chrome and let's see that now we don't have summary two here anymore because it is null. So as you can see, we have two options. We can configure this at the endpoint level or we can configure it at the application level. If you want to learn more about .NET, please check out my Udemy courses today. I have courses on building web APIs with Angular applications or building a web API with a React application. And also I have a course on Entity Framework Core and more. Link with a discount to all of my courses in the description of this video. Thank you.